hi everyone it's me jamshed aza and today we are going to design this beautiful logo in adobe illustrator now let's see what we have in this lesson okay first we are going to write a name of company and that is nawaz and if i am pronouncing that right then it may be nawaz and for the purpose of this tutorial i have just applied bitsumisi font and you can see that is the font seems like that one and you can download it from internet if you do not have that font and now we are going to convert that for convert that to outline and as you can see that it is not anymore text and we can edit that as we want now let's let me just increase uh, that part and now let me just change the color to something like blue okay let me change that to blue and now we are going to draw the house the top of the house and for that i have just uh, brought my tool over here and you can easily do that by just clicking that sign and you will get that uh, tool over here and now just click that arrow and you will get that in horizontal sorry in vertical and now we just select that part and we maybe uh, draw some shape something like this one and now if you check it is uh, our graphic now we just cancel the fill and we just want the outline and the outline we will give it some color and now just increase the size and i want that size to be similar to or same to that size now just let me little bit decrease that one and next we are going to convert that outline to object now just come to object and create the path and outline the stroke and now you can check that it is fill and that outline is disabled as it is now object and no more it is outline okay we just do some adjustment uh, and just drag that part uh, and i have just selected my direction selection tool and click that uh, anchor and bring it to top of the anchor and now just let me take that here and now we just adjust that part as well uh, if you want your ruler to be here then just press control and press the R and you will get your that ruler and now let me just adjust that part of my logo and now just select the anchor and bring it here little bit top to that part and here and as you can see select that ruler and press delete and as you can see that it is now completely selected now just i have selected the anchor now just uh, clicking the arrow uh, from my keyboard and you can adjust that size similar to that one and now we have that part and it seems good to me right now let me just adjust that anchor as well and next we just cut that part we have uh, two or three tricks over here but let me just show you how we can do that if i just select a razor tool and just uh, press your shift and just click like that one and now just drag that anchor to the top and bring that anchor 
to bottom of that one and you will find a very nice effect something like this one and we have that trick as well and if you want we can use our pathfinder as well for example let me just do let me just go back and undo everything now it is one object you can select your uh, that object and these object and now in pathfinder if you do not have pathfinder over here then you can just come in window and you will get pathfinder from here and the shortcut is shift control and f9 now let me just do one thing divide that part and we are going to select the bottom part and little bit we are going to take it that and now that uh, portion is nearly equal to that one and we have adjusted our that logo and you can see all other because we have divided all every part and you can see that it is now a different object and for that we have to select that part there's this one and that one as well and just uh, unite every everything else and you can get that one and there are some other uh, trick at as well but I think the best one is to just erase the N and just take the anchor to the top and that that is the easy one but for the procedure of understanding and making you to understand that we have done two step now let me just make the window for window we will come here and select our rectangle and now just click and draw your first rectangle now hold on your alt key and bring it to right then you will get two and select both of that two and bring it to down and hold down your alt and release that now we got a very nice and beautiful window now select everything because now it has a separated object you can do one thing select everything and just unite that or you can also do something just like uh, uh, select everything and right click on that one and group and now it is one object okay you can do both step but but there is some difference but for the purpose of this designing we will do group and we are now just going to place that in the center of our house and that is i think nearly center yes that is fine for now okay next we are going to write construction service and let me just write construction and service okay now just increase the area from here and bring it to here and as you are looking right now it is very complex type of font is uh, I think it doesn't look good over here uh, for that one either we use Helvetica the favorite font of everyone or Marriott Pro I always use Mar Marriott Pro and that is let me just select any one of these and now we can select regular one and and now let's do one more thing come to character and in character you can just decrease the tracking for the selected character and you can find that there is now a very nice spacing in between the words and I think that is fine and let me just adjust the size okay now that is great now delete the ruler and bring it to down and one more thing we are going to select our pen tool and now I just come from here to the top and now we will bring it to 
down little bit down and give it a stroke width and maybe maybe three is fine and now let's convert that as well to the stroke and now just I want that line to be duplicated on top I will do I will hold down my art and take it to the top now you can check and we just adjust the size of everything else and now we got very nice and beautiful logo but I have also uh, did some sort of gradient over here if you can see and there is gray and blue lighter blue we have that part as well now let's do that one as well uh, let me just select this part and make it gray and that should be blue I think that would look good to be blue and make it also gray now we are going to change the color of our no Neva and all other sound I have just hold down my art and now selecting with my uh, direction tool all the font if I just uh, come here in gradient and now we select linear gradient and take it to 90 and now we got our gradient now lighter blue and darker blue the second color should be darker blue and you can check that now it is looking very nice and clean and professional logo and you can use that logo for construction services for house or home construction services or for anything related to house and that will boost your company uh, with, with very amazing and beautiful logo and if you like that if you like that video and that design please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up that video and if you have any question drop that question in comment section and i will be right back thank you for all of you yeah.